Hello there everyone, it is Mitsu here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we will go through the tactics used as Liverpool hosted Manchester United. Both teams were not able to score in a match that highlighted some tactical work from both managers. Before we begin though, let's have a quick look on some stats. Liverpool had 66% of the possession while United had 34. Club's side had a total of 17 shots, however 3 of them only were on target. On the other hand, United had 8 shots in which 4 of them were on target. Let's have a look on the formations. Liverpool used a 4-2-3-1 on paper, Shaqiri started in the midfield line alongside Thiago and Wijnaldum, while Henderson and Fabinho played as centre-backs. On the other hand, Man United started with the 4-5-1, we saw Paul Pogba again on the left-hand side, while Fred and Scott McTominay played as a double pivot. Now let's see how Liverpool looked like during the attacking phase. Basically, Thiago drops down between the centre-backs to receive the ball. He was really helpful in playing direct passes between the lines to avoid any negative position in Liverpool's half. However, the team found some problems when reaching Manchester United's defensive block, and the ball would always end up to one of the fullbacks who would then try to send it back inside, as Liverpool tried stretching the pitch and using the spaces on the sides to counter the low block. Solskjaer had a quick response to that. During the defensive phase, Manchester United used a low block with up to 9 players leaving only Rashford on top. Solskjaer asked 2 midfielders to help the fullbacks. So, whenever the ball is on the left side for example, Aaron Juan Bissaka would mark Sadio Mane, McTominay would mark Wijnaldum and Paul Pogba would mark Robertson. So, instead of having one midfielder covering the spaces between the fullback and the centre back, he assigned 2 players and this caused many problems for Liverpool. Whenever Salah or Mane gets inside the box, they would get marked by two players. Club responded to that and we saw two different styles of attacks during the first half. The first one was the normal style, kind of a 3-4-3, while the other one was a bit new, as Salah moved to the left side in order to leave spaces for Shakiri, who actually used that space and shot more than two times after cutting inside. Obviously, Solskjaer wanted to secure a point against Liverpool and so he played very defensively, especially in the first half. Here you can see the heat maps of both teams after the end of the first half. Now, both teams applied a little bit of high pressure. However, none of the teams kept applying constant pressure. Moving to the attacking phase of Manchester United. The team relied on playing short passes to get out with the ball on the ground and once they get past the first line of Liverpool's pressure, the ball would be passed to Pogba or Bruno Fernandes who would then play a long ball to one of the forwards. One thing to notice here is the fact that United had a total of 8 offsides, in which 7 of them were in the first half. During the second half, Liverpool used a 4-5-1 while defending. Manchester United tried pushing forward and created some attacks as they tried to grab the 3 points at the end of the match. So that was it guys, I hope you have enjoyed this analysis. Make sure to check out my Instagram as I'm uploading videos every single day over there and I'm responding to all the messages as well. Finally, let me know in the comments what tactic would you have applied in this match to grab a winner and let's have a discussion. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.